is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here and welcome back to another video and today is week five of this London Marathon training series. So this bush right here, there, is a landmark for where I'm about to kickstart back into my workout. So welcome back to another video and today is Monday and we're kicking things off slightly differently today. I'm doing a special block, a Canova special block. I'm not going to go into detail as to how you do them and what you do them. I haven't got time and I don't want to make this video 20, 25 minutes long. Um, but special blocks are a fascinating tool that Canova uses for his athletes in the final 10 weeks of marathon training. What I recommend you guys do is do a bit of googling Canova a special block read up about it and also if you're more interested in watching sweat elite have a fantastic double video series on canova doing his am and pm special block workout so i recommend you go and check that out and the long and short of it is or for me how i've adapted it today is you do uh, he does 10k at 90% of goal effort so 90% of marathon pace and then 10k at marathon pace for the morning session 100% uh, effort sorry and then in the evening he then repeats and does another 90% 10k uh, and then after that he goes into a sort of a more specific workout where he gets his athletes working uh, on time now with that uh, in the sweat elite video example he had them do 10 by a thousand meters or 8 by a thousand meters by a K basically and he wanted them to run to the track and split 68 seconds per lap uh, and if you could not split 68 seconds per lap and you started to slow you're out you stop right there you move out of the way and then you go again on the next rep and you basically go for as long as you can hold 68 seconds per lap and he says and I quote that you've got your volume in for the day this is not about volume this section this is about speed so if you can't hold speed just stop so that's how I'm structuring my day, except I'm not going to be doing 10k, 10k, and then 10k and 8 by a k. I'm dialing it back so that I get 20 miles of volume because this is replacing my double threshold. So as of right now, I'll be alternating double threshold and special blocks until the end of marathon training, which means I'm doing 8k, 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 and then tonight five by a mile. Um, so that's how I'm doing it because 8k is five miles so for me I get 10 miles worth of work in the morning and 10 miles worth of work in the evening. So I've just done my first 90% which is 640 per mile because my goal pace is six flat per mile and I'm about to turn around and do my five miles at marathon pace. In between these sections you're meant to have five minutes static rest. I've fluffed up massively because I've set my watch up wrong. I've had to pause the watch you can see it says 640 there that's my average pace but it does not show me the time I have no idea how long five minutes is so I'm just going to have to hang around and estimate how long five minutes is and check how long I've recorded this clip for and maybe add on a minute or two so yeah a bit of a waffle at the start of the video but hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't as I said go and check out Sweat Elite's video it's absolutely fantastic that's how I'm kick-starting my day in the ridiculously humid forest of Dean so I'm going to crack on turn around get this second half done and then I will see you at the end of the run and then tonight for the second half of the special block So that's this morning done and now we're on to the evening sesh. Oh look who we've got. Hi. We have Ultra James. I'm gonna call him Ultra James now because he barely makes an appearance on the channel but he's back. He's done with his ultras at the moment just having a bit of a reset with the legs. He's coming out doing the five mile 90% uh, uh, effort with me now and then he'll peel off and I'll do the mile reps so yeah good to have some company tonight. This morning was really good, 145 average on the moderate or the 90% effort, 159 on the 100% effort, so that was good. And tonight we have five miles, 8K at this 90% again, and then five by a mile with 45 seconds rest. So we're just keeping it controlled. The thing is, it's bloody hot. 24 degrees when I walked out the door tonight so we'll see how we do. I'm doing the 90% effort out here on the trails and then head down to the industrial estate, have five minutes standing recovery and we'll go for the mile reps. Right, five miles done, 
just having the five minute rest. Again, like this morning, I've completely fluffed up. I have no idea how long five minutes is because my watch just says the pace and the, the mileage. So I'm just guessing it'll be around five minutes. I'm gonna head over there, start over there and start the mile reps. This man is gonna peel off to his cool down and go home. Bye. Epic Bye. to share some miles with him again. It's been way too long. Hopefully more of him in this training series as the weeks go by. So <laughs> wish us luck. Based on that, I doubt it. <laughs> one and done. Wish us luck. Let's get these mile reps done. As we watch and wait for the lion to see its prey on the dusty plains of Africa. What's this we have here? The gazelle comes by. Look at him go. Look at those legs. He's so fast. It's how speedy the lion gives chase. and loses. Okay, reps one and two done. 5.35 going down, 5.36 on the way back up. My mouth is so dry, so warm. Three and four to done both 535. So holding pace, but I totally underestimated this. There we go, 534 for the last one. That was insane. I don't know if it was the heat. But two things I want to say, because I know this vlog is going to be really long, because today's been one mammoth day. Special blocks put double thresholds to shame. That was way harder. I completely underestimated what doing 8Ks worth of moderate work before even getting into a workout would do, especially doing it twice in a day. I totally get why it's called a special block. Um, it's pretty special. I did it though, I did it and I'm over the moon that I did it, but trust me, if you ever try something like this, do not underestimate it, do not take it lightly. It is the real deal. Um, and the second thing I wanna say is I'm really doing my, I said this to James at the time, I'm really doing my best to get heat acclimated. Uh, doing a lot of workouts in the heat. I failed last year, it was one of the reasons why I did so bad in the heat, but I think because I've been doing a lot of work in the heat this year, I'm feeling a lot better when I'm getting to do the workout. So to average 5.35, for those five mile reps on a 20 mile day i'll take it all day long on to tomorrow's easy so that was brutal really brutal and trust me i've woken up today uh feeling battered and bruised so it's tuesday uh i've got an easy run today i did try and get up at half five um slept through the alarm my body needed to sleep but i got up at quarter past six so i've got to have the car in the garage for eight so i'm only going to be able to get 60 minutes done today uh but that's that's fine, it is what it is, I'm not gonna grumble. I just need to shake these legs out. I am so stiff and sore, it's unbelievable. Um, but, I mean, I hit everything I needed to hit yesterday. I hit all the paces I wanted to hit. Everything was good, great really. But yeah, special blocks make double thresholds look a piece of cake. It was absolutely nuts. So just gonna enjoy this morning, just, I'm just plodding. I'm in the 120s heart rate. I'm just plodding, I'm, I'm not doing anything crazy today. <laughs> this is all about recovery. So we'll roll on to tomorrow. I meant to have a marathon pace session tomorrow. I might push it back a day, depending on how I feel. I might do it tomorrow. I just need to let this old body recover a little bit more. So uh, yeah, get this one done. See you tomorrow. And welcome to Wednesday. And as I said yesterday, I'm swapping my days around. So when I wrote the plan, uh, I made it so that Monday was my marathon pace session and um, Wednesday was my double threshold or special block. That gave me two days, one recovery, one easy run before my long run. So that gave me two days to recover. Uh, because I did my special block on Monday this week, um, because I need to front load the week a little bit and I wanted to prioritise that, it kind of completely slipped my mind that I'd 
put two days recovery in the normal plan and yesterday when I got home I was like I remember reading about special blocks and trying to learn about them and Canova always says you should uh, have at least two or three days easy before tackling the next workout or anything intense so I'm going to try my best to have a really busy day tomorrow but I'm going to try my best to squeeze in the marathon pace session tomorrow morning so that I can then rest Friday and have a long run Saturday. So that's how everything has shuffled around. One thing I want to mention just before we go into tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, today is 80 to 90 minutes easy-ish down one side of the cycle track, up the other, a little bit of a push up the other because I'm feeling a bit fresher. You've seen me do this one a couple of weeks ago, keeping it mm, 75% easy, 25% a bit of a moderate push at the other side. So that's today. I'm fundraising. Um, you may or may not have seen my update video I did uh, a couple of months ago. I'm not going to go over it again because I'm going to get all emotional, but you can go and watch it. Uh, the title says an update on the thumbnail and long and short of it is uh, my mum and sister have both passed away this year due to cancer. Uh, one, my sister was a brain tumour and my mum was myeloma, blood cancer. I've decided that I'm very fortunate that I've managed to get into London through a good for age so I don't have any pressures to fundraise but I feel that it is important that I in a way pay my respects by doing what I can to do a little bit of fundraising for the Brain Tumor Charity in My Loma UK. So I've set two pages up, one for my mum, one for my sister, and I've set a target of £300 for each of them. I do not expect anything from anyone, but if my story that I shared affected you in any way or it resonates with you or you feel like you'd love to donate to help uh, these companies fund vital research and fund treatments it will be much appreciated i'm going to leave the links in the description below there's absolutely no pressure i don't have anyone saying i have to raise x amount of money this is voluntary this is off my own back and uh, i'm going to leave the links down there so if you feel like you wish to donate then uh, it would be very gratefully appreciated so I'm going to switch off now and enjoy this one and I'll see you tomorrow for the marathon pace session. So good morning and welcome to Thursday. You join me out here on the second workout of the week and it is the more marathon specific workout. So if you've been following along you'll know that weeks two and four have been chunks of marathon pace like 2 by 12 minutes and 2 by 14 minutes at 4 by 12 minutes and 4 by 14 minutes sorry and uh, alternating weeks like in week three I did 30 minutes at a moderate pace 30 minutes of marathon pace and 10 minutes faster today 30 minutes of moderate 30 minutes of marathon 20 minutes faster so around half marathon effort so that's what's on the cars today I'm currently just gone 15 minutes into this first chunk so I think last time I got four point uh, six or seven miles or maybe five done uh, in the marathon chunk and then my marathon goal pace is six flat so I got around five miles done there and last time I did ten minutes majority of the uphill home so I went on effort rather than pace it's, today's 20 minutes so a bit more of a grind feeling good though those two days of taking it relatively easy have helped feel ready for today
we go, workout complete, 20 minutes finished. Some lovely stats there. Don't know how well the GoPro will focus, 30 minutes, moderate, 138 heart rate, 30 minutes marathon pace, 155. 20 minutes harder 164 so the paces for those were 636 per mile for the moderate so at four seconds quick but exactly the same as what i did two weeks ago 558 for the marathon pace again two seconds quick but all felt relatively under control and then 20 minutes was 548 per mile i think um and that was lovely just got into like a a flow state and just cruised clicked up the gear and finished strong so nearly a half marathon in 80 minutes this morning uh 13.01 miles so um yeah really cannot complain at that absolutely over the moon quality quality workout all right so good morning and you join me here in the tunnel uh <laughs> just out on the forest of dean cycle track this morning kick starting the long run so what's the plan today uh i'd like two and a half hours and it's going to be nothing more than what I have been doing, which is just a moderate effort. I had a really long day in the office yesterday, sat down for way too long, and I can feel how tight the hips are. I really should have done <coughs> a little bit of mobility before I uh, went to bed last night. I've done some, some uh, light dynamic drills before I started my run this morning, but it's not enough to loosen up the hips. Hips are a bit tight, so just need a bit of WD-40 on those uh, to get me going. But we're moving, heart rate's nice and low, and uh, just chugging away. So it's gonna be a warm one today, and I've got out a bit later, at 20 past seven. So realistically, I'm not gonna finish until about 10 to 10. Uh, and we're due a, by the looks of it, another mini heat wave starting today over the next few days so it's playing it cautious playing it central today banking the time on the feet i don't want to go out there and uh, blast a big old long run workout today but it could be a bit hotter priority is being aerobically fit for london remember not marathon sharp just aerobically fit uh so yeah that's the goal gonna get one cycle track loop done I'll touch base with you then, should be around 10-ish miles and then I might do another one or I might jump on to two of the small loops that I've been doing lately. I'll see how I feel. I'm a bit, feeling a bit flaky this morning so I'm not committing to anything. So yeah, we'll keep rolling and I'll touch base with you shortly. Okay, well this is an interesting one. <laughs> Mentally, not there, just not there. So I've just gone halfway. I have done everything in my power to commit to this second loop. There was a period for about two miles back there where I could have easily peeled off and gone home. Um, the hips are just, I think the hips are tight. It's stopping me from opening up my gate and it's stopping me from flowing. I feel like I'm moving stiff. Uh, so I'm really kicking myself for not stretching last night and not putting just 10 minutes into, uh, into that effort. So I've tried my best to turn my mentality round and turn it into time on feet. Uh, just, I don't know, I'm just waffling. 6.52 per mile, probably the slowest long run of the block so far. Heart rate is good, 140 right now. Um, but I'm just coming up to one hour 20 in. So I literally am committed to this second loop now. I was gonna do it anti-clockwise, but I've decided to just, I couldn't be asked to turn around and just keep him going, which means I'm gonna to have to tackle this big hill again, which is about 270 foot in a mile. And right on the end, you're on tiptoes, it's horrible. So I just gotta suck it up and get on with it.
Okay, so let's wrap this up. We're back on the industrial estate. Managed to progress that second loop. Um, got the average pace down from low 650s down to 645 at the end of the second loop. <laughs> I've tagged on an extra half an hour. I'm finishing out here on the industrial estate. 642 average pace now. I've got about six minutes to go. So I'm just cruising it in, putting the hammer down a bit and uh, just gonna empty the tank. So it's turned out not too bad. Still not a great run, but we'll just see it as one big progression. So I'll put the final stats of the run on the screen. And, uh, and of course, the final stats of the week. Another solid week, another big week. Holiday next week. So, should be an interesting episode next week. But if you enjoyed today, guys, please do give it a like. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'm going home to eat all the food. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.